So before frustration, minor frustrations would have been like enough to derail our whole day. Um, we were reading <clears throat> Healing the Fragmented Cells of Trauma Survivors by um, Janina Fisher, and it takes a lot for us to read. Like it takes a lot for us to get in the groove or actually focused, actually reading like a couple pages at a time, not just like a sentence at a time, and actually like retaining information, processing what we're learning, coming up with like ideas for worksheets and stuff like that. It takes a lot to be able to be in that place. And I was there this morning and just a couple pages in, we started dissociating because of a sound coming from the laundry room across the house. <laughs> and straight up, normally that would have been enough. Like immediately our fight parts were out. Immediately there wasn't this unblended sense of stability um, where multiple parts could be present without, you know, derailing the ability to function. And so like that all ended just like that. And I wanted to tune it out, but I knew from, you know, what I've learned in the past that that wasn't going to work. And so I honored the trigger right away going out to, you know, find out what was going on, how long that noise would be. It was, you know, the dryer going on. It's uh, broken. So it makes this really loud squeaking sound across the house. And even with like the laundry room door shut and stuff, it was still vibrating enough for me to be triggered by it with my bedroom door closed and everything on the other end of the house. And so normally that frustration would have been it. I'm just like, boom, over identify with it, or hyper blend. Um, and, you know, just be like, I can't do anything. Like I try to do basic things and nothing works. Like all I was doing was trying to read a page and I can't even do that. Like it would have gone into this very immediate spiral where I wouldn't have had a chance to come back from it. Um, but with the work we've been doing, we were able to respond quicker and better. And so instead of oh my gosh, I can't read because I'm so dumb or oh, I can't focus because I'm so this or whatever. It's okay, I'm triggered. I'm no longer regulated enough to read. I'm going to get up and find out if this is something that's going to stop. And if not, I'm going to move to the next thing that I'm doing. And so we're really triggered. We're really upset. We're really tense. We're really, we, we just want to freaking punch somebody for no reason, just to, just to express what we're feeling. It's, it's a very intense feeling. And so we're going to do some yoga. And normally I would have pushed through. I would have tried to keep reading and it would have triggered me more. And I would have blamed whoever started the dryer. I, would, I wouldn't have taken responsibility knowing that I'm triggered because of my stuff, not this person triggered me, you know? And so it was <laughs> Pookie Bear. <laughs> it's a it's a process of of you know not not identifying with it but still honoring it um the, the, like that quote says you know my feelings are valid that doesn't make them true you know and so honoring where I'm at what I'm going through without allowing it to define who I am without allowing it to define what my day is going to look like you know and so this is this is huge because straight up that would have just ended my day I would have given up, I would be spiraling right now into anxiety, depression, anger. I would, you know, because I'd be spiraling, more crap would be coming up. You know, if I'm identifying with this low frequency, then more low frequency identifiers are going to, you know, be triggered. And so it would have been the spiral. I wouldn't have even wanted to do yoga because I would have given up on this day and myself. And now we are able to, you know, move, move through it and move forward. Know that it's a trigger. Know that I... I'm able to come back from it, know that it doesn't have to define me, know that what I go through is not what defines me, but how I choose to go through it. You know, we don't get a choice in, in, in what we're experiencing, but we get to choose how we respond. And that helps to improve our experience in the long run. It might not be immediate, you know. When I was doing all this work, there definitely wasn't an immediate relief. But then I have mornings like this where I see the progress. I see my ability to come back from being triggered. I see my ability to recognize being dysregulated and respond accordingly, you know? And, you know, that's that's really the goal. It's just to, it's to fail up. It's to be a little bit better than you were last time and to extend just infinite unconditional compassion along the way because that heals us. Um, when we've had, you know, a lot of judgments in our life, both internally and externally, compassion literally starts to heal that it's a higher vibration that goes back in there and starts to repair that damage and so just offering that consistent internal compassion is more than enough like if, if there's not a place for 
more extensive work, that's okay. All of the work I'm doing now just started with being a little bit more gentle with myself. And there was still, you know, like six, eight months of, of self-harming, self like severe self-harming and stuff. But it was failing up. It was doing a little bit better than I did before. And that's how I got to where I am now. So I'm going to get to yoga and we're going to make sure that this day goes the way I choose for it to go. It doesn't just go the way that it naturally happens. Because if, if I just settled for the way things naturally happen, I wouldn't have a good life. I wouldn't have any of the good things that I have. And so we have to make a decision. I'm going to make sure that this day is great. And all that means is doing the best that I can with what's within my power. And if everything else around me goes to crap, that's okay. Because my goal is not to control my experience. My goal is not to make this day exactly like this. My goal is just to show up to the best of my ability. And regardless of what that looks like, I'm going to be proud of it. And that's how we heal. That's how we grow. That's how we embrace this transformative healing journey.